Introducing the new Heritage series from the start. Our heritage, your legacy. Okay, we'll start with the mustard heritage. Uh, Curve Caddis Barbless, a C49XAP, size 18. Now, I do tie this in much smaller sizes, but I don't think I'd manage to get close enough with the camera. So we've got sheer, 40 naught, tan. Very simple, but extremely effective pattern. So we start just behind the hook eye, and we go back three or four turns, just remove that. Now what's very important is that we flatten our tying thread here. So we just spin it anti-clockwise to give it a flat profile. I think you can see that there now. And then what we want to do is just go back. We want a very slender body on this. This is really effective pattern. Uh, and very easy to tie. So once we've gone back to about there, what we want to do is go back up just to give the body a little taper. Remember to flatten your thread as you go the whole time. And we want a, a, a solid colour of the tying thread here. You can use other colours of tying thread. Uh, but this is, I find, a very effective one. So now we go back, just giving that taper on the body, still keeping my flat tying thread flat. And we go back to here. Now, I'll spin my tying thread clockwise to give it a round profile. This is important here for the rib. So I've got a waterproof felt marker, black. And I'll just colour about seven, eight centimetres of tying thread. Then we'll just wind in that very last part of the tan. Then we come up with the black thread and make a rib. Then when we get to there we can make four or five turns with the black like so. Now what we need is two CDC hackles and we want with if possible with flat tips like this and we just align those up like that so the tips are even and level like so. Now we'll just spin our thread anti-clockwise again And we'll pinch that CDC in. And we go back three or four turns, just like that. Then we lift this CDC at the rear. And we make two turns under like that to lift it at the back. Then we can go forward again. Lift up the CDC. Tight in to the CDC puff at the front, like so. Then we can take our whip finisher. And just tighten into there. Remove the tying thread. Lift the back and all we want here is two or three millimetres, like so. And that's the finished hatching CDC midge. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.